Alrighty. Hey there, guys, it's Silver, your host. And so many of you keep on watching my Shaolin videos that I bring to the channel. So I figured we would start a new playthrough for you all to enjoy. And the last time, we played as a female character with the Tai Chi Chuan style. Now, we are going to play as a male character with the Hungar style. And our character for this playthrough will be called... Wait, are you ready to go? Are you ready to rumble? Because I certainly am. A huge thank you to everybody who has enjoyed all the Shaolin content we have brought to the channel. The previous playthrough and the showcase video we did a couple of years ago. Cannot express enough how fun it has been bringing more eyes to an all but unknown game. Anyway, at long last, the half century of terror was overthrown and peace was restored. But even in the midst of celebration, dark clouds loomed on the horizon. Now, this one, my awesome people, is a very interesting storyline. You play as a young man who is on a quest to find and marry the most beautiful maiden in the land. That's a very, very, very old-fashioned but very traditional Chinese storytelling beat right there. The whole finding the land's most beautiful maiden and asking for her hand in marriage. It's a tale as old as time in all literature, and especially in traditional Chinese folklore, anyway. Oh, wait, were you looking for me? Shall we ask her to accompany us? I believe we've done this before in our showcase video. And yes, she refuses. You want a date? You're a fool. Go back to your training. Ah yes, I do remember this. Quite clearly. So, let's get some training in, shall we? Get a bit of training in. Oh, it's Wei. What is the matter? Come on now, tell me. Shall we ask this lady to accompany us? Oh. You're an interesting one. Very well. If you defeat me, you'll be permitted to be with me for a day. Will you fight? Yeah, sure. I won't hold back. Ready? Here I come. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I love the, um, the simplicity of this specific storyline. Combined with the... Hoongar martial arts, they are so good. Like, you do so much damage early on. <laughs> oh man. You've got really heavy evasion, you're really quick, and you start off with two or three really solid combos compared to some of the other styles. So. I am very, very happy to be playing this specific story. Always a good time as I'm, as far as I'm concerned, sorry, you will get no complaints from me. Some of the specific styles start off really clunky, but get more powerful as they go along. Hoongar starts off really swift, really agile, really hard hitting, and just gets better and better and better. Astounding. I am impressed. Alright, let's go. I've got a pretty girl to accompany me. Marvelous. So, let's get a few levels up, shall we? And fight a few people around town? Way, chasing after women. You ought to be ashamed. Training will straighten you out. Come on. Let's fight them. Here I come. All right, fellas, let's do this. Shaping up to be a schoolyard brawl, but we'll have a good time here. Bring it on, fellas, bring it on. Fight. 
so much damage. They're hitting each other. Yep, they're fighting each other. Bring it on. Ooh. Winner. Yep, loving that agility. You will hear no complaints from me about this style. And its agility. It really is quite something. You hit like a freight train. Oh, I am so angry. Yeah, I mean, I can see why. We did kind of just give the smack down. Shall we have a look around other parts of town, maybe? Go and... We'll have a few more battles. I want to get a few more levels in. So a good place for that will be the temple. Okay. What are you doing, Wei? You're not late because you were too busy looking for pretty girls, were you? I cannot believe you're that interested in pretty girls. Everyone in the town is talking. But you must not let your mind stray any longer. You begin to train for real fights today. Are you prepared? Damn right I am. The five of us will challenge you one at a time. I will be the first. Let us begin. Okay. So, anybody that's familiar with the the style of this game, it's very it's very straightforward. You go from town to town across a fantastical version of China and um, fight various temples and master more of your style as you go along. So, Depending on where you start, some temples can have some very, very large fighting segments where you're having to take on, say, ten disciples, sometimes simultaneously, or one after the other. But then others will only have a handful of disciples to challenge. Challenge? That's a word, Silver. Challenge. Yeah. Thankfully, this temple only has like five to deal with, which is something of a blessing. Because the fights, when you're doing one after the other after the other, typically don't have a lot of XP against Temple Brothers. So it can get a bit tedious when you're fighting like many of them and only getting small level ups. Right. Let us see if we can find somewhere where we can get a bit more experience. Hmm. Let's wait for an opponent to spawn in, shall we? See if um, a passerby... This is the Hall of Darkness. We'll come back here later. Once we've got a few more levels in and are a bit stronger. You'll do, bandits. Good XP. Give me your money. Oh, okay, you want my money. Well, I wish to take yours, so let's do this. I do think I hold the, the very strange accolade as one of the few people on YouTube to have actually played or covered this game in any sort of detail. Right, let them fight each other. Then we'll pick off the winner. Good, that'll do. Winner. I love the fact that when people hit each other in this game, they will then turn and fight each other. Because if you've got um, two people squaring off against one another, you can then essentially pick off the winner. Which is a... it's a good time. It's a good time. It makes things easier. Right. Two more might. Five vitality. Five max HP. Not a lot. But it's something. Is this going to be a slow level up? Wait, can we leave? As if we can leave. 
in many of the storylines, you can't leave right away. That's an interesting happening. Most of them, you are quite restricted. There'll be a guard there saying, you cannot progress without the permission of the Grand Master. So that has caught me off guard slightly. Let's get another battle in, shall we? One of it more XP. Come on. Anybody here want to attempt to take my money? You can do so if you wish. But do be warned. We have that snake fist kung fu kind of stuff going on here. Or as um, another YouTuber said during his review of the game, the flying tiger. Give me your money. Bandits are good XP. Always happy to fight those. Now, for those of you who don't know how the game's XP system works, every enemy has a set XP yield every time you fight them. Like, it doesn't change. For example, bandits will always give you 50 XP, and you will always need 100 XP to level up. So that means, typically, two bandits will always give you a full level up, no matter what. So if you see two bandits, free level. Yet you would think that the level system would be a bit more detailed than that, but no, it's really simple. Enemies always have the same XP yields, and you always need 100 XP to level up. And you, you don't lose XP gains or XP yield from enemies the higher level you get. It remains the same. Ooh, we're getting some very very low RNG on the leveling here. Then again, we are a kid, so I'm imagining that that's the reason it's slower. Right, let's go fight another temple, brother, shall we? I reckon that'll be a good time. In fact, we'll finish fighting them, try get to about maybe level 7 or 8, and then go fight the temple master. Will you fight, way? Sure will. Here's your second opponent. Begin. So those of you who might be coming back to watch this second playthrough, after coming here for the first, I do thank you. Your viewership is appreciated. And I don't know why I enjoy this stinky little budget title as much as I do. gives me a great deal of satisfaction playing through its um, various storylines. So, the more of you that want it, the more of you I'm happy to bring it to. Got him. Perfect. Winner. Very nicely done. Certainly taught him a lesson. So, two Temple Brothers down, three more to go. And then it's on to the Grand Master, but we're not doing the Grand Master fight anytime soon. We're way too weak. I want to try and get our character to age up a bit more first, because this game has a very interesting system for its time. You actually grow up as you gain experience. You go through, like, your life cycles. You go from a kid to a teenager to a young adult to a, to a full-fledged adult over time and with gaining XP. And as you go through each life stage, your stats increase slightly as well. So, I want to try and at least get to the second life stage before we carry on. Come on, friend. Bring it on. Nice. Winner. We're doing pretty well here. We're just kind of mowing through. 
not a particular challenge been thrown our way here. But I am enjoying myself. You see, it'll be different when we get to the Grandmaster. There seems to be very little ground when it comes to these temple fights, or ground given. The disciples have like two different variations. The, the really weak ones that don't do a lot, then the stronger ones that will be really aggressive, and then the Grandmaster's pretty tough whatever you do. So, yeah. Yeah. Fight. Come on. I'm a pint-sized martial arts master. Come on, bring it. Love the backflips. Nice. Perfect. Got it. Winner. Wish I had that much agility. I would be very happy if I could do running jump flips and spinning kicks and that kind of thing. Sadly, I don't think I'm built for that kind of stuff. Would be cool if I was, though. Right. Shall we? Shall we? Just, um... Should we get to level 4 before we finish our training against these disciples? I reckon we should. I think that's a very good idea. Or... We could go to... No. We're way too weak for the Hall of Darkness. Yeah, we only have three might and no defense there. We'll come back and do the Hall of Darkness later. Hello there, lady. Let's play. By all means. By all means. Let me unleash my Kung Fu mastery. It's going to be a fun time. Panda. Got to be careful of the panda. Oh. Oh, God. We're very weak when we start out. Block. Block. That hurt. Oh, God. The panda's wrecking us. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Oh. That was bruising. Just gotta... Hit the panda with everything we've got. Now... The pandas typically... Do a lot of damage, but have good XP. Each panda, much like a bandit, is always 50 XP. And there are different variations of pandas as well. And I bet you're wondering, Silver, how do you know so much about this rinky-dink little game that almost nobody on the internet has played? Well, I spent a lot of my days as a little kid, in the early 2000s, playing this. Like, sitting and playing through all of the storylines and just unlocking all the characters and having a good time with it. Right, we're a bit low on vitality, so we're gonna go to the restaurant and grab some food. Hey, Wei, what have you been over to? Running about from one place to another? What? Food, you say? There is no forgiving people who make their parents worry. From now on, I will charge you. What will you have? Ah. This is one of the storylines where you have to pay for your food as a kid. Typically, in most of the storylines, when you're a young kid, you don't have to pay for your food in the starting town. There are a couple of exceptions. This is one of them. 
and the, I believe it's the Eight Extremities Fist or Baji Kwan storyline, where you also have to pay. Will you order something else? I'll have a shumai as well. Yep. Cool. We'll leave. Hey, sure you want to do that? Yep. As I've explained in previous playthroughs of this as well, if you eat too much when you're growing up, you can become quite overweight as a kid, and your character can actually get fat as they grow up into uh, adulthood. So you want to be very mindful of um, how much you eat. Notice we got an endurance bar underneath that as well. Well, that goes up with or goes up with resting at an inn or sleeping, and goes down every time we are out on the open world map running around over time. Give me your money. Okay, Mr. Bandit, let us party. Right, is it going to be two of them? Because that'll be a guaranteed level for us. Just the one. But that'll still do fine. Very nice. <laughs> that little headbutt move is funny. It amuses me. It really does. Right. Very good. We are kicking butt and taking names. Or kicking names and taking butt if you want to go back to front, but hey. Don't know if I'm in that kind of mood today. Right. No, character still hasn't gone older yet. I mean, we are only level 5. Oh, nearly level 5, sorry. Okay. Will you fight, way? Yep. Number 5 is waiting. Begin. After this is the Grand Master. So I reckon it's probably a very wise idea to um, get more levels in before we attempt to do that fight. Because we will get our butts kicked if we don't. Obviously been a young'un at the start of the game. Winner. We take a lot of damage when we get hit. Yeah. Might have to head back to the restaurant and get some more food. And possibly go and nap at the inn. As well. Go and get our endurance back up. Not burn ourselves out too much. Very nice. Level up. Yes, and we got a defense point. Lots more vitality and max HP. Say, that was very impressive. You beat all my classmates. Will you continue? Fight. Now you will fight the five top level fighters. Prepare yourself, they are very skilled. Begin. Ah, so there are ten disciples in this temple. You fight the five regular ones and then the five top level students. Ah, oh, well, that's good XP. That's fine. See these guys with slightly different character models? They're stronger than their um, regular temple brothers and have much more aggressive AI. Right. God damn. Winner. Only takes a few hits for us to get really hurt there. Yeah. Right. We'll head to the inn. And then we will definitely head to the um, restaurant. Actually, no. Other way around. Restaurant first, inn second. 
now. Will you continue? Not yet. I see. Then we shall continue tomorrow. Yeah. We definitely need to get a bit tougher. Get a few more fights in. Skyview. Restaurant is there. Wait, if you want to eat, I will have to charge you. So what will you have? Let's have an... Let's have another vegetarian soup. Fine. One minute, please. Thank you, Mr. Restaurant Owner. That'll do us nicely. In order to not get too overweight, we're going to eat sparingly. We'll also pop into a couple of the houses around town as well. See what's going on. Love the soundtrack in this game. Hello, way. So, you are studying martial arts. It's very serious music playing here. Then you too may someday live on a pilgrimage. Remember your cousin, Su Chen? He was a student like you. He went on a trip while he was still young and never returned. I wonder where your cousin Su Chen is and what he is doing now. Ah, I forgot about this. A couple of the stories have interesting rivalries and happenings that the others don't. We'll be sure to keep um, an eye out for that later on. Let's check out the rest of the houses anyway. Speak to everybody and see what they have to say. Ah, way. I want to tell you something. My son likes to study, but he neglects his training. I have always believed a man ought to be strong. What do you think? Is it important for a man to have physical prowess? Well, if we're gonna go on a pilgrimage to master our martial art and find a beautiful lady, yeah, I don't see why not. I'm glad you agree. I will urge him to train. Okay, anybody else to talk to while we're wandering around? Ah, training again today? Give it your best. I used to go to the gym every day to train. People cannot attract beautiful women unless they are good fighters. Don't quite know what kind of life lesson that's teaching people there, Mr. Um, elderly gent, but... We'll roll with it, I suppose. We'll roll with it. Peace is wonderful. Now that the bandit leader is dead, everyone can live, in, live at ease. We can do anything we please. Ah, peace. Gotta love peace. Gotta love peace. Getting stuck on scenery. You know what? A couple more temple battles ought to do it. Will you fight? Wait. Sure will. Right. Four more students to go. Let's do this, shall we? Let us do this. Right. Let's bring the smack down. Block just in time there. Good, good. Bring it on, Mr. Temple student. I love that silly little headbutt move. Perfect. <clears throat> Winner. There's always like a silly move that makes absolutely no sense. Um, attached to your character early on before you learn more of your moves. In this one, it's like a weird running headbutt. In another style, there's actually a butt bump where you literally butt bump the enemy. That makes no sense whatsoever, but it's funny. Right. Apprentice number three, begin. We'll just work our way through these guys, I think. Then we'll go rest. I think that's a pretty solid idea. Bring it on them.
Come on. Let's see what he's got. Nicely Perfect. done. Winner. Just um, a little further, and it's time for the Grandmaster. Nearly there. Yes, level up. Four might and eight vitality. Very good. Leave for now. I see them will continue tomorrow, or we shall continue tomorrow. Level six, Dreamer. Fourteen might, one defense. Okay. Let's rest up before we continue our training. The inn is over here. Oh, wait. Where have your travels taken you lately? Don't make me worry about you. Will you go to bed now? Sure will. I see. Then I will consider you old enough to take care of yourself should you go outside of town. It will cost you 50 copper to spend for the night. Is that alright? Ah, I see. We made the mistake of leaving town. I think normally what happens in this storyline is you don't get charged any money to do things. But obviously with us having chosen to leave town because we had the option to and then coming back later they're like oh yeah because you made the decision to um, leave town and we're responsible enough to um, do that you can basically pay your way now you are destined to go far with time I believe you will outshine your teacher Someday this inn will be yours, and you will have the skills to defend it. Now get going, and do not wander along the way. Note to self, do not leave town before de defeating the Grand Master if I ever do this storyline again. That's, um, gonna cause our already strained finances a few problems, I think. 55 copper. We're, um, causing ourselves a few issues there. I think what we'll do is head to the Hall of Darkness now. Get a few more levels in, I reckon. Welcome to the Hall of Darkness. Hello, Texture Clipping. You place a bet, then you fight. Give it a try. Yep. Each time you win, the prize amount will be increased by one third. You may have up to ten matches, lose a match, and you lose your wager. How much will you bet? Everything. Okay, here's your opponent. We're playing we're playing it a bit risky here, but we should be okay. Should be. Famous last words. This isn't a difficult fight. In the interest of keeping these parts around an hour, I may trim out some repetitive segments like, you know, ridiculous amounts of fighting over and over again, or loading screens, because loading screens amount to a bit as well. Pretty good, you've earned some copper, will you continue? Yep. We'll go for a few fights here, then we'll finish at the, um, the temple, I think. These Hall of Darkness fights Winner. aren't too tricky because knocking the opponent off the edge is just the, yeah. the way to go with it. It's 
really effective. <laughs> really quite effective. Right. Let's go for another one. Very well, here's your next opponent. Just to get our coffers up since we're basically having to um to pay for everything now because we chose to leave town. See, even now after so many years of playing this game, I'm learning more about its mechanics. These pandas, they're good. You might not think it given their silly looking appearances. But they are worth three levels on their own. Per each panda you fight. They're a rare encounter, but they give you a lot of XP. And now that we have one, we're basically set up to fight the Grandmaster. Even if we are like four foot tall. But we are trained in Kung Fu, so should be alright. Right, that'll do. One level. Now two levels. Yes, some defense. Three levels. We continue, now we're good. Here's your share. I earned some copper. Level 9. We're getting stronger. Even if we are still dinky small. Right. Will you fight, wait? Here is the fourth apprentice. Begin. Yeah, we'll, we'll beat these apprentices. Get to level 10. Defeat the Grandmaster, and then we'll move on to the next town, and that's where we'll wind down, I think. That's um, that's a fine enough plan as far as I'm concerned. Okay, bring it on. If you manage to um, attack the same time the enemy's attacking and hit them while they're in the middle of an attack, you will do increased damage. It's risky to try and land it, but it's very effective when you do. Apparently this guy can hear our bones creak. Last one. Very good. This is the last apprentice. Begin. Right. So, defeat this guy. Get to level 10. Grandmaster time. I think it's Grandmaster Huang. In, um. Fuzhou City. love the music in this game. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but uh, yeah, it's very good. Got it. Right, it's Grandmaster time then. We have spent the, uh, what, probably the last 40 minutes going around delivering the beat down. We should be good to go now. And we hit that level 10. Good, good. Wow, you beat all the students. And we haven't even reached young adulthood yet. But, it's okay. We're still fine. Time for the first Grandmaster. Grandmaster... Excellent way. Your skills have taken you far. I'm your last opponent. Shall we start the fight right away? Yep. I'm sure it's Grandmaster Huang. Fight now. Fine. If you're ready, we fight. I'm expecting this to be hard. So... <laughs> Let's, um... 
do our best, shall we? Let's do our best and see where we end up. Love the boss music. It's called Can't Escape. God, even 10 levels in. We're still not doing much damage to him. Bring it on, Grandmaster. Let's see if he can land some damage on us, shall we? Doing good damage. Well, actually, really doing good damage here. Almost got him. Four foot tall and trained in kung fu, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Perfect. Without even taking any damage. Winner. That caught me off guard. I thought it would be a lot harder. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I thought it would be much harder. Okay. Well, we got it. First Grandmaster. Done. Excellent. Excellent. Winning the battles has earned me the dragon stance. Good, we're learning more moves. We learned a new technique. Very impressive. You've done well to improve your skills so much. My humble thanks, Grandmaster. If your girl is a pretty face, then you should set your sights on the most beautiful lady in the land. If you are persistent enough in your efforts, you should do well. Then I will put my whole heart into the search. I will tell you something of interest. It is said that a famous beauty can be found at the Shaolin Kung Fu School in Guangzhou. She is rumored to be a spectacular beauty. If you have not yet met her, you should, by all means, go see for yourself. Right, you know what the funny thing is? Normally, you've spent so much time in the town by the time the um, the first temple has been defeated that you've usually aged up into a young adult so that freaking dialogue is usually a touch less should we say uncomfortable anyway right congratulations Wayne you defeated the Grand Master yes father your words of encouragement strengthen my will to fight Success was my reward. Haha, <laughs> your words honor me. Thank you for fulfilling, my, for fulfilling my dream. I no longer worry about leaving this place in your hands. Yes, and I promise to continue my training. Oh, oh. so you will. And now, will you rest? I see. Then I will consider you willing to take care of yourself, should you go outside the town. It will cost 50 copper to spend the night, is that alright? I'll pass. Well, well. What can I say? Considering it's going to cost us money, we'll move to the next town and save, I think. Maybe just try and squeeze in one more battle to see if our character gets a little bit older. Just one. A very quick one. Because usually by now at level 11 with so much stats, the character starts to get older. This is actually a bit quite... It's actually quite odd. Right. I'll wager everything. Just the one fight. Everything. Just to see if we can get it to kick in. Because it usually has done by now. Strange. Very strange. Unless it's just because we're powering through very quickly. I don't know. I could not tell you guys. I mean, we're already doing way more damage than when we started about how long ago now. 
at a guess 40 minutes ago? That's a guess. Okay, so that's done it. Have we gotten what we need? Because you also need to get older for the stat boosts it gives you. It makes the game much easier. Will you continue? Nah. Ah, most disappointing. Here is your share. I earned some copper. Still hasn't. How odd. Maybe in the next part then. So we will follow that tip and go to Guangzhou. And this, I do believe, is where we will probably wind things down. Let me go and save at the inn first. Yeah, we'll save at the inn first. Plenty of money there for us. Ah, peace is wonderful. This is an inn and our rate is 40 copper. Will you spend the night? Damn right we will. Relax and make yourself comfortable. Good, good. Drop a quick save. Very nicely done. All right. Perfect. Rest well. Please come again. Can't believe we've been going for nearly an hour. Anyway. This is where we'll wind down. So, to all of you who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed yourselves, do consider slamming the like button and subscribing on our run up to a thousand subs. You can also follow us over on Twitter at Silver Gaming Network or by following the handle SilverGaming01 to be kept up to date whenever we go live with a new stream or we play something new on the channel. And also, if you would like to support us even more than that, you can do so by subscribing to our Patreon for just £2.50 a month or $3.00. The same price as a small cup of coffee or a bus ticket. And every one of our silver patrons gets an exclusive patron shout out at the end of every live stream and pre recorded Let's Play part. Not at all essential, but very much appreciated. And the links to that are in the video description and the channel's about section. A special thank you to our silver patrons at the time of recording this video Mr. Jonathan, Reese Free, and Jay. It is very much appreciated. And to all of you who've stopped in, you've all been super awesome and thank you very much for stopping in. And I will, of course, see you in the next one. So guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care, guys.